Hello again, and I, I'd like to review some books. You're, you're at the reading room, and this is William Powers 424, and I'd like to review uh, a couple books here, or uh, more of an, uh, uh, books by a certain author that I, I loved uh, throughout my younger years uh, a lot, um, and that's Louis L'Amour. He's, uh, he's a Western writer. Uh, wrote a lot of westerns, uh, a lot of dime novels like, uh, I would call. Uh, I have several here, uh, paperbacks. Uh, I have a few hardbacks that I picked up later. He's, he's published a lot. Uh, many of his, his books have been made into movies, uh, TV movies, uh, starring Tom Selleck. He's uh, is, is played several of his movies. There's been several made for TV movies. Um, that he's made, and I'll talk about two of those books, but um, I've got over 250 of his books, paperbacks primarily, no real value to them. I have one here that uh, the price tag on is 75 cents, and, and I picked this book up uh, uh, when, when that was the going cost for that book, so that, that tells you uh, about how long ago that that book was printed. It's yellowed and tattered. Um, it may have been out a while before I picked it up. It's in paperback, uh, seventh printing in, back in the 70s, okay? So I read some of these in high school. I liked them okay. Uh, my two favorites, I guess, uh, especially because I read them uh, in high school or, or when I was younger, are Tucker and uh, Riley's Luck. Let me, let me zoom in so you can see this. Uh, the title of this one is, is Tucker, and this book is, is Riley's Luck. This is a newer book. It uh, sold for a, about uh, $4.49. I think I have a couple copies of some of these. But uh, let me tell you about Tucker. Tucker's the classic story that even appeals to uh, a kid today. It's about a, a, a kid who, you know, can't, at that point in his right life, thinks his father's stupid and, and dumb and goes off on his own way with some friends that his father's recommending him not to hang out with and ends up, uh, his father ends up having an accident and, and dying from it. Uh, uh, the, his friends uh, and their uh, a little bit harder core buddy steal the money uh, from that they had gotten from uh, a community cattle drive that they were supposed to be taking back to their impoverished area after the Civil War and uh, then it's the epic search and find and, and get it back and all the, the things he goes through growing up on the way. So as a teenager this book really appealed to me. It's called Tucker, uh, Louis L'Amour. Uh, this book I think was written just I won't tell you all the, the dates, but this book uh, first um, looks like the first copy right here was in the 70s, 71. So it's, it's not one of his older, older books. Uh, like I said, Riley's Luck, another uh, book about a young a boy who is the son of a prostitute um, who gets left uh, in the cold to freeze. And uh, uh, this book came out in uh, 1970, it looks like the earliest printing, but he, he gets adopted by a, a gambler, uh, and it's a story of him growing into a man and becoming quite a man and eventually uh, paying back the people that did some wrong to his, uh, who his, who his adopted father, so to speak. The, the gambler that, that picked him up and saved his life and rescued him from, uh, from probably a, a, a life of, of poverty and, and working on some uh, farm as an adopted child in the 1800s. Uh, very good book. One of my, again, one of my favorites. Uh, the other one that's my all-time favorite, uh, Flint. It's a story of, again, a young boy who... Um, was reared by a man who was uh, a, a, basically an assassin for big big cattle and um, he he was reared in the east and at some point the the young man uh, was told he could come out and stay with him and he held the horses and went with him I uh, learned that uh, his his father mentor uh, Flint, who was the original guy's name that was the contract killer for the cattle company, he, um, 
he didn't like it. And so this is the story of the man that this young boy becomes and his, uh, his tale of, uh, you know, what happens in there. Um, uh, Chansey, another young, uh, impoverished uh, a person, comes west and, and out of his uh, courageous actions, uh, he, he picks up uh, a cattle herd that he uh, gets into uh, ownership, partial ownership by, by defending it, and, and he goes on to grow into a, a, a leader and, and a, a man that uh, stands on his own two feet. Um, the, the, um, when I was in college, I, I, this, this book right here, The Daybreakers, is one of the, the Sock, Sackett novels, okay? It is a novel of the Sackett family. And when I went to school, there was a boy with me in college in, in Martin named David Sackett. I don't know whatever became of him, but he was a geology student there. And his father was Admiral Sackett. And Admiral Sackett was the at uh, one time the uh, uh, commander down at the Millington Naval Air Station outside of Memphis. And um, David told me uh, these books were out. There was there's quite a few of them. I don't know exactly how many Sackett novels there are. This is my favorite Sackett novel called The Daybreakers. Uh, it's a story of two brothers who come west. Meet a, meet a character and take up with the cattle drive and then their lives as they intertwine with uh, some Hispanic families and end up settling in Arizona, New Mexico area and uh, what happens as, as their lives go in different paths. Great book. I believe Tom Selleck uh, played one of the characters. Uh, this book I believe was made into a TV movie series and um, I, I, I watched it. It was not as good as, in my opinion, the book. Uh, but anyway, the second boy told me that uh, Louis L'Amour gave his father a signed uh, a packet of a signed uh, series of the second novels uh, at some point in time because I, I guess his family, um, he used some real characters maybe that were uh, uh, ancestors uh, of David. Uh, another one that's... Uh, a classic story of uh, called uh, The Empty Land. It's uh, about a character who goes to tough towns and cleans them up and he goes to another town that's really tough and cleans it up. Your classic gunfighter uh, and, and cleaning up a town. The good guy who's, who's kind of the people kind of don't like because he's too tough but he gets the job done. Uh, of course these stories are, are a lot of fiction there. Um, Shalako, the cover's been torn on this one. Uh, this is another 75 cent. I've lost the back cover. This was actually uh, made into a movie. Uh, Sean Connery, of all people, uh, played the character. This book has been out a while. I, that movie is quite old. This book was written in, in 62. Uh, the book was done back in the 70s when when Sean Connery, maybe late 60s, when he was a bigger, younger star. Uh, very good movie. Uh, actually, my daughter, uh, my oldest daughter, is named after, uh, my wife didn't like me to probably share this, but a, a horse that was in this book. Uh, there was a horse in this book. We changed the spelling a little bit, but uh, we really liked the name of the horse. It was uh, from a, a British lady that had brought the horse over from England and they were hunting in the West. Great, great story, uh, great story. Um, and the final one, Hondo. Uh, this is another older book. I believe the movie may have even been back in the 50s, uh, so we'll have to look and see. This book is, oh yeah, 1953. I think, um, and that's back before I was born. Hondo, uh, Hon uh, Hondo was a scout for the Indians in an Apache uprising out in the New Mexico, Arizona Territory, somewhere out there. Um, there John Wayne actually played uh, the part in the movie. Uh, it was a very good movie. I uh, can't remember. Um, uh, the only character that I remember out of it was um, James Arnaz actually played a character in it. Uh, this was back before the gun smoke. I think the movie was in the mid-50s, 55, 57. Somewhere in there. It might have been later. It's hard for me to remember all those movies. Very good movie. Worth watching. 
I enjoyed the movie. Books are superb. The great thing about Louis L'Amour books, a, a lot of people say, well, oh, the Old West was really nothing like that. And, and it may not be. But I can tell you this, and, and, and what I do like about them, the books are very descriptive. Uh, they describe some places that I have been to. Um, you know, there may be some places that he describes in there that don't exist. But he was a, a, a traveler. Uh, his, his books are, are, to me, feel good and happy books in a way. Um, almost always, uh, the hero doesn't ride off in the sunset by himself. He, there's always a, a hero, a heroine, a heroine, you know, the, the female hero uh, of the book. Um, I, I'm sorry, ladies, but I would say that he might have been a sexist because the, there was no female s superstar that uh, shot up all the guys. Uh, there were some powerful women in some of his stories. But the good guy beat the bad guy and got the girl. That's how the stories. So if you want to feel good about a book or, 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 or want a happy book, to me they're happy books. They make you feel good. Uh, they end well. Uh, they, they don't kill off the main character and die. They're not depressing. They're not dark. Okay? I enjoy some dark stuff too, but these books are, are happening. Uh, and, and really, I, I have read uh, numerous ones and I've traveled widely in the West and I've been some of the places he describes and I can almost, uh, you know, given some of the descriptions, you can almost go back to some of the places uh, and locations. Great books. He's got hundreds of them out there. Uh, you can pick these up in any bookstore, uh, used bookstore paperbacks. Uh, great reads. A lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment, especially if you like the westerns and, and you want to feel good about a book.